Honestly, I'd wear this watch even if it wouldn't indicate the time. Hello, welcome to Swiss Watch and the channel when you learn about watches which you rarely see on the internet. Today we'll take a closer look at the Gira Perego Casquette 2.0 and talk about the driver watch genre in general. Buying a watch can be spontaneous, meaning you see a new model and you want to own it, or you can buy a watch more purposefully, taking into consideration the categories. With that I mean diver watches, dress watches, sports watches and so on. The driver watch category isn't really defined like the others, but if you're a watch enthusiast and someone tells you that a watch is a driver's watch, we all know what it kinda means. Usually driver's watches feature a lateral time display so you can read the time more easily while you drive your car or motorbike. It's also great for long and boring meetings without signaling to people that you're checking the time. <laughs> Some examples of driver style watches that I like are the Vacho Constantin American 1921, the Tiffany & Co East West, ambient ephological machines, especially the HM5 and HMX, and of course one of my latest purchases, the new Mad One Red watch. If you don't know much about the Mad One Red, check out my full review, I will link it down in the description. Today we'll take a look at an iconic watch, a watch which was brought back from the past and I think this modern version is even better than the original, which isn't always the case. The Gira Perego Casque 2.0, a sci-fi looking retro watch produced between 1976 and 1978. It is said that there were around 8200 examples made and if you can find one in good condition today, be sure to consider it, since it's the OG model of course. The Casquette model was revived and brought to market first at the only watch auction in 2022. They created a piece unique with Bamford watch department in a full forged carbon and titanium case and a leather strap. It sold for a hundred thousand US dollars and it all went for charity. If you were one of the lucky ones who was able to buy this modern interpretation, you had to be fast. There were only 820 pieces made and it was sold out quickly. In one way I'm happy that so many watches get sold out in today's market, but it's also slowly getting unbearable since many collectors don't get a chance to own one, because of the ever rising number of resellers. When the watch came out this year, its retail price was positioned at 4,500 Swiss francs, but shortly after the first watches were delivered, the secondary market jumped to above 20k. Today the model is hovering between 7,000 and 15,000 Swiss francs. If you truly want to own a casquette, maybe consider buying a vintage one if you're prepared to spend this kind of money. But since it's an old quartz caliber, it might come with problems, so buying a modern one isn't a bad idea if you want to be safe. When I saw the price of this watch, I was put off, since there's a similar watch on the market for a few hundred bucks from Bulova, the Computron. The Computron comes in a few executions, but after seeing the casquette in person, it grew on me, and also since it's a more luxurious brand and uses luxurious materials, it's a really cool watch at the end. The trapezoidal case is entirely made out of black ceramic, it's entire matte with the dial side being polished. It's very faceted and on the top of the case we've got the vintage GP logo, which is a nice nod to the history of the model. You read the time on this red LED display, which is very stealthy and when you look at the watch from the top, it's not even visible. You can really see how this fits in the so to speak driver's watch category with the lateral time indication. You can read the time by pressing either one of the two titanium pushers on the side of the case. The time stays on for only about 2 seconds. That is programmed on purpose so the battery lasts you longer. I'd honestly prefer to have the time display on for longer, even 5 seconds would do, and I wouldn't mind changing the battery from time to time. As I said in the beginning though, this watch almost wouldn't even need the time telling indication. It's so cool that it would work perfectly fine just as a dope bracelet. Powering this model is the Quartz Caliber GP03980-1474. A mouthful. It shows you the hours, minutes, seconds, day, date, month, year, chronograph, second time zone and last but not least a secret date. Let me guide you through all the functions so if you own one you don't need to read the manual. So if you want to see the time, you basically press either one of the pushes on the side, just like this, and the time will be shown for about 2 seconds. It's a bit quick, but uh, you know, you save the battery life. If you want to engage the chronograph, because this watch has a chronograph function as I said, you have to press the right button for a longer period, then disappears, you press the left button in and you start the chronograph. You stop it with pushing the same button and you reset the chronograph by just again pushing the left button or in for longer. Here you go, that's it. Now you started, stopped and also reset the chronograph function. Like I said, this watch features a few other functions as well like the date, the month, the second time zone and also the memo function. So if you want to see the other functions, you basically have to press the pusher on the left side. You'll have the time, 
then you have the seconds, the GMT function, then you've got the day of the month, the year and the month, and also the second time zone. That's it. Basically, you've got, again, the time of the day, you've got the seconds, the GMT function, the day of the month, the year and the month, and that's it. Pretty simple. There's also a hidden feature, basically called the memo, meaning you set yourself a reminder for once a year, for example. How you access this is very simple. You first have to press the left pusher, then the right one, and then the left again to choose GMT memo, here you go. And then the right one to choose. Here you can set the time. Let's say we set it to nine o'clock and five minutes, six minutes. Then you set the year. So now it's 2022. Let's say you want to be reminded next year. So two is good. This is also good. This has to go up by two. And let's say we remind ourselves on the 23rd. Then the next step is you choose the month. Let's say we choose January because in January 1976, the casket was first introduced. Then we choose the day. Let's say it was introduced on uh, this one, the 12th, and now that it's on. So now at the exact time we set, we're going to get a little reminder that it's basically something special. And now again, by pressing either of the buttons, you see the time for two seconds. Very simple. I especially love the chronograph because the display stays on and the watch being all black, it almost looks like a ticking time bomb or a spy tool. When I look at this watch, I think of the movie Knight Rider or maybe driving a vintage DeLorean car with this on. The bracelet is entirely made out of black ceramic with each link featuring a matte finish and polished edges to add facets and shine to it. It's got a rubber interior and a titanium folding clasp with the GP logo on top. The case pack is closed for obvious reasons and it features a few inscriptions as the brand name, the city where GP is located, La Chatefonds, and as well the limited edition inscription on the bottom. The only downside to this watch that I found out that it was a real fingerprint magnet. Just one touch of the clasp and bracelet and you've got your print all over it. If you're a neat freak or a bit too OCD, then think twice before buying this watch. Let me know what you think about this watch and the price point of 4.5 thousand Swiss francs. Is it okay or overpriced? considering the inner workings of the watch. I'm also curious to see what you think about GP watches in general and which model we should look at next time. Like and share this video if you found it entertaining. Thank you for watching guys and as always, I'll see you next Friday.